Hello and welcome into the FCS huddle. I'm Elliot Shaw alongside the FCS senior editor for Stats, Craig Haley. And wow, Craig, we're in the last, we're, the, we're finishing up the month of October, which has been a very, very exciting month of FCS football. And what a final weekend to do it than Halloween. And as you can see, Craig's uh, kind of in, uh, in the Halloween theme, dressed up as a referee. What do you mean I'm dressed up for Halloween? All right, my bad. Side Judge Craig is here to, to report with us. Whoa. That's referee Craig to you. All right, you know what, Craig? Since you're dressed like an official, why don't you talk about some of these games? Sure. Thank you, Alec. <laughs> well, it's a great weekend for, for FCS football. I mean, there's, there's so many uh, first-place uh, teams playing each other, undefeated teams. I think the best one being in the Ivy League, uh, Dartmouth going to Harvard on Friday night. A little mischief night for, for that yeah. one in the Ivy League. Uh, that's clearly uh, one of the better ones. Uh, Harvard's a two-time defending champ trying to get three in a row. That hasn't happened in the Ivy League since uh, 1990 to 92 with Dartmouth. Dartmouth is, is a terrific team. I mean, they have one of the best quarterbacks there in, in Dallin uh, Williams. Harvard has a great one too, Scott Hosh. It's a great year for quarterbacks in the league. We'll, we'll see where it goes, but there's plenty of good matchups, not just there. I mean, in the Big South, it's uh, number two, Coastal Carolina, going to Charleston Southern, who's actually, actually out in front. Uh, number one, Jacksonville uh, State, hosting Eastern Kentucky in, in the OVC. Uh, in the Patriot League, Fordham's having a great year. They're going to uh, Colgate. Just great matchups all around. Absolutely. Now, you mentioned Jacksonville State, and they're playing Eastern Kentucky. Now, Jacksonville State, number one for a while. They're really, you know, week in, week out, continue to stay that number one in the polls. Could they be on upset alert this week? What do you think? I, I think so. Last year's matchup was 20-6 was to six, uh, at Eastern Kentucky, uh, uh, Jacksonville State won. Kind of a defensive matchup that, uh, last year. This year, it, it could be a little more offensive. Uh, both teams are doing well. Uh, Jacksonville State's been on a roll since they've become number one. Hasn't been quite tested since they've, they've become number one um, with their schedule, but this is a big one. Eastern Kentucky has taken it to another level in recent weeks. Their only two losses are to the FBS. Uh, Benny Connie, their quarterback, has really turned it on. Obviously, uh, Jacksonville State has uh, Eli Jenkins, has that offense running to perfection. Great matchup. I think being at home uh, for a sellout crowd on homecoming, hmm. That gives the advantage to Jacksonville State, so I think I'll go there. Okay, but Halloween weekend, Jacksonville <laughs> State, the number one team, could be in for a scare. That's for sure. You heard it from Craig, the referee, <laughs> should I say. But uh, again, thank you for watching. That's going to do it for us today. For more stats, anything to do with the FCS, check out the website, fcs.football. Also on Twitter, at FCS underscore stats. And also Craig Haley, the referee over here. Give him a follow, at Craig Haley. I'm Elliot Shaw. Thanks for watching.